What do you think? Do I look better with the red tie or the blue tie? Well, whatever I choose, it doesn't really matter too much anymore because you can make that decision. That's how it works with personalized visual in Power BI. Let's have a look. As a Power BI developer, it's really hard to satisfy the needs of all your end users. There are always some users that want to see some visualizations a little bit differently. Well, that's no longer a problem because now there is personalized visuals in Power BI. Now let's see how that works. Now let's start off by having a look at what personalized visual actually does. So here we have a published report inside of Power BI service with one simple visualization, a bar chart that shows the sales over time. Now, me as an end user, I can now go to that visual and then in the top right corner, click on personalize this visual. And I can do this in reader view. So I don't need to be an editor. I can do this as a reader, as a viewer of this report. So when I click on it, then a new menu pops up, personalize this visual, I can make changes to it. So for example, let's say I want to have here online values. I want to see the forecast and I click on add a new field go to my forecast table and here we have revenues forecast. I'm going to add it to it and see we have now our forecasted values in there. Maybe I don't want to have it as a line, but maybe as a clustered column chart, then I can also change the visualization type. So let me click on visualization type and then choose from here the clustered column chart. And you see it updates like that. Now let me do another example. So I can go over here and change this now to let's say a tree map. Okay. And I'm going to take out date fields from the groupings. So I'm going to take those out. And I also don't need revenue forecast anymore. And on group, I would like to have the subcategory for the products. So I go there and I'm going to go here to my product table and choose product subcategory. So you see that personalized visuals lets you change the chart type, lets you swap dimensions and also add or remove measures and fields. Now, once you have your personalized visual and you want to save it, then you go here to bookmarks and then add it as a personal bookmark. So here I have my view and save it. And now that I've saved it, I can also share it with other people. So over here, just make sure that you include my changes and then you can share it with your colleagues. Now, if at any point you want to reset it, that's also possible. You just have to click then over here to reset to default and you're back to the normal report view. All right, so that's a pretty cool feature. Let's see how you can enable it. So if you're in Power BI service, you have to go to your workspace and then you go to the report for which you want to enable it. Click on the three dots, go to settings, and then all the way at the bottom, you can turn on personalized visuals, which is currently still in preview mode. Now, if you're in Power BI desktop, you have to make sure that you enable this feature first. So if you go to file, options and settings, then to options, then go to preview features, and make sure that you have personalized visuals turned on. But then in addition, you also need to go to current file, report settings, and then over here at the bottom, allow report readers to personalize visuals to suit the needs. All right, so that's the second checkbox that needs to be turned on. And the third one that you wanna check for is that on a visualization level, you have to go to format and then all the way at the bottom, you find personalized visual, which is by default turned on. However, you can turn it off. And if you have these three things turned on, if you then go to the header of a visualization, you have a new button. The visual can now be personalized by report readers. Now, if you click on this button, actually nothing happens. Well, the reason is we are here in Power BI Desktop. If I'm looking at this report in Power BI Desktop, I could make edits myself anyways, right? So this personalization feature only makes sense when I publish the report and I'm looking at it as a viewer who doesn't have edit rights. Because then as a reader of the report, I can still tweak the visualizations just a little bit without actually having editing rights to the underlying report. Now let's jump back for a second to Power BI service. 
and then click on personalize visual. And when I, for example, want to add a field, let's say to line values, then I see my full data model. And this can be a little bit overwhelming for the end user. Now, one way of dealing with this is to actually hide some tables or fields that you do not want to show to the end user. But now we also have an alternative, and that is to work with perspectives. Let's go back to Power BI Desktop. Now, a perspective is just a subset of your data model. And to create one, we need an external tool, which is Tableau Editor. Now let's open it up. If you already have it installed, you find it under external tools, and then you can click on Tableau Editor. If you don't have it installed, just go to the website and download it, and it will show up in Power BI as well. Now here we are in Tableau Editor, and there's a folder for perspectives. Now at the moment, we have not created one, but we can create a new one. So let's right click and add a new one which is gonna be my sales view, let's say. And then I go here to tables. Here's my sales table. And I'm gonna take all of my measures that I right click. I'm gonna show them in my sales view perspective. And the same thing I'm gonna do for my forecast measures. Right click, show in sales view. And let's say that we also want to be able to break it down by the subcategory. And let's also go over here to store and then add store name to it. And every time when you add a new table or field to a perspective, then if you want to do it a second time, you see it's grayed out. And if you have a field that has not been added to a perspective, and you would right click on it, hide in perspective, you see that over here it's grayed out. Now, once you have created your perspective, you also have to make sure that you save it. So I'm gonna click here on save. So if you go now back to our Power BI report and then click over here next to our visual, so make sure it's not selected, then go to format, then all the way at the bottom you have personalized visual from which we can then choose the report reader perspective. Okay, so here's a drop down from which you can then select here the sales view and then click on apply to all of the pages. And just keep in mind here that if you add new pages in the future, you have to click again on apply to all pages. All right, so now that is done, I can save my file and republish it. And here we have our visual again, but now with a perspective applied to it. So I'm gonna try to personalize it. And let's say I'm gonna add again a line value and now we only see what we added to our perspective so we have here our FCT sales table with only measures same for my forecast table only the measures and then we have dim product where we added the subcategories and over here from dim store we only have the store name so we are not overloading the end user anymore and make it much more user friendly I really like the personalized visualization feature, especially now that we can use it with perspectives. Let me know what you think and leave a comment in the comment section below. If you like this content, then give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.